This video is brought to you by Wondershare Verbo. More about them later in the video. Hi friends, this is Prompt Jungle focusing on fast technical AI videos. Recently, many of you have asked me to create a tutorial for the AI video animation I uploaded last month. So here is that tutorial. It's a five steps process. So please make sure not to skip any step in order to fully understand the tutorial. Let's start. Step one, film yourself. Film a video of yourself walking around and snapping your fingers whenever you want a transition to occur. I've got a little help from Deepfake Leo here for the demonstration of this video. Divide your video into separate clips, each one starting with a snap. This will make the next steps easier. Step 2. It's time to create unique scenes and characters. Head to Runway ML, link in the description, and click on Gen 1. Here, you can upload the clips you prepared. Presuming you are going to leave the first clip as yourself, upload your second clip and on the right side, you will see that you can generate your scene from a text prompt, a preset or an image. I usually use a word prompt as well as a picture prompt. For example, if you enter Gandalf the Grey, the resemblance may come from the cartoon rather than the movies. As a result, I used a Gandalf image. On the right-hand side, you can change the style strength or select the advanced button to gain additional control over the parameters. The structural consistency slider lets you manage the structure of your output video. Low values will maintain your original video structure, while high values will make it more like your input image. The style weight slider lets you decide how much influence your image prompt has on your original video. Once you're happy with your adjustments, press the preview button to see four sample images from your chosen settings. You can do this as many times as you want without using up your credit until you get the perfect first frame of your video. When you have chosen the image you want, you can then generate a video from one of these previews, or you can keep adjusting your settings until you're happy. Step 3. Repeat Step 2 for each of your snap clips. It's a good idea to create a few different styles for each snap so you can choose the best one for your video. Most of the time, you will get the face or the video not resembling the characters you wanted, but don't worry, I will show you a way to enhance that. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, Wondershare Verbo. Did you know that? You no longer have to show your face or use your voice to make videos online. With Wondershare Verbo's advanced AI, you can create lifelike personalized AI avatars with over 120 voice options and 150 avatars to choose from. This remarkable tool offers precise lip syncing with affordable prices compared to others. You can try it now with two minutes for free. Just click on the link in the description and you will go to the website. Click on free download and complete the installation process. When done, you will be greeted with the program interface. Log in or sign up with your Google account and you will be in the home dashboard. Here you can find ready-made templates for e-commerce, product videos, personalized marketing content, and even how-to customer service videos. To create video, you can use the AI to help you with the script or simply choose your avatar and paste your script. Choose the voice that you want and hit export. So click on the link in the description and try Wondershare Verbo now. Step 4. Enhance the faces. So now, after we have all the clips and scenes generated, we will head to swapface.org and download the deepfake tool. I have made a separate video on how to use it properly. I will link it in the description too. After installation, click on Video Swap and upload your clip and your source image. I have chosen Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead as my source image. Choose Expert and choose 4K or. And here, you have all the clips before and after the deep fake. Step 5. Put it together. The last step is to merge all your clips together. Add some sound effects for each scene to really make the style stand out. Let me know in the comments if you have any better ways to take this workflow to the next level. Don't forget to like the video if it helped and maybe subscribe. 